and welcome back to British English with me, Ali. Today is part two, talking about American English words versus British English words. And I'm bringing you these lessons so that you can enhance your British English. It's also very entertaining to understand some of the differences and the shocks that I had when I started to talk with American speakers because the words can mean quite different things. Do you have a sweet tooth? Do you enjoy sweet food? Perhaps you like gummy bears or chewy little yummy sweets. And that is what we call them. We call them sweets, as opposed to candy in the US. When we go to the cinema, there's a big wall of different types of sweets that we can pick and put in a paper bag and have your pick and mix whilst enjoying the film, but we do not call them candy. Seeing as we are in the cinema now, you may watch some small trailers or adverts before the actual film starts. And yes, as I've just said, these are adverts, not commercials. When it comes to drinking alcohol, please do check my drinking video to learn more British English words about drinking. But for now, what I'm going to say is that in British English, we like to say alcohol or more casually, booze. Americans will say liquor. And if we want to talk about whiskey or vodka or something of the more strong variety of alcohol, we could call this a spirit but we wouldn't really call it liquor. When it comes to the word sure, I personally feel that this is much more used among American English speakers. If somebody wants to agree, for example, oh, the weather is great today, isn't it? And an American English speaker might say, it sure is. This is very, very un-British. And instead we might say, it certainly is, or absolutely. Certainly, absolutely, they're two very good ways to express a strong agreement or feeling. A word that we definitely don't use in British English is awesome, awesome. Anyway, we just don't say it in British English. Instead, we would say amazing or fantastic or brilliant. These are much more British English ways to express our delight over something. The only time that we would use awesome when speaking British English is to say about something truly awe-inspiring. So seeing God or something like that. The level of this word, the connotations of this word are a little bit outside and above the normal topic of conversation. So a more natural way to express delight or excitement about something would be brilliant, amazing, or fantastic. This is not a very pleasant topic, but there may be an instance where you have a tummy bug and you are unable to keep your food down. So the food comes out. In American English, people tend to say puke, which means in British English, throw up or vomit. I will say that when you talk about being sick rather than feeling sick, these are two different things. So in British English, I am sick. We wouldn't really say sick. We would say I'm ill or I'm not well. If we say I was sick, this usually means that I threw up or I vomited. Sick in American English means I'm unwell, but just take care when trying to speak in British English or talking to a British English person, sick usually means vomit, whereas ill or unwell means bad health. If you're going shopping, perhaps you'll visit the shops. We do not say store in British English. We just do not use it at all. And I think a big difference is when you talk about the shop where you buy your medicine. This in American English would be drugstore, whereas in British English, we tend to use a pharmacy or a chemist. Having done my research, pharmacy was originally an American word. However, in recent years, 
pharmacy is very commonly used when it comes to talking about British chemists. Personally, I would say that where I buy my shampoo and body soap and other toiletries, I would call this a pharmacy. Whereas after the doctors, when I have a piece of paper with a medicine on it, I take this to the chemists and then they give me the medicine. This piece of paper is called a prescription and the chemist, the person working in the chemist, will give me my medicine. So I would say that this is definitely a word that we've taken from America and is now commonly used as British English. On that note, cute is a very, very American word and even when I use it, I feel that I have stolen it from the American vocabulary. <laughs> More commonly, we would say sweet or adorable or lovely. One very important food related point is chips as opposed to crisps. British English like to call these salty snacks crisps because they sound crispy. <laughs> they are known in American English as chips which to British are thick, soft potato wedges. As you will know, fish and chips is a dish available in Britain. I wouldn't say that that's what we eat on a regular basis, but it is there. So um, take care when you're talking to a British English waitress or shop staff. When you ask for chips, you will receive chips, not crisps. So make sure to take care on that point. The last point that I want to make today is actually inspired from one of my lovely subscribers and your comments about getting the bill at the end of a meal. So yes, in British English, we would ask for the bill and we would often do this sign. I don't know why. I think this comes from the days when we used to sign our names as opposed to type in our pin code. But in American English, it's called the check. British English people understand when Americans come over and they ask for the check, but that isn't really natural in British English, so do take care there. Well, I hope that this lesson was helpful for you. Please do comment below if there was anything interesting there for you, and also if you have any of your own ideas about differentiations between American and British English. I want to thank you once again for watching this video. Please give this a like and hit subscribe to stay up to date. And until next time, bye bye.